the umpteenth time that you're defending your title. I mean, what what more do you have to prove? Yeah, no, I don't know. I think the what the fans want me, they want me to fight against Guillermo Ring and Luke's. Um, like, and I, I want to fight him, um, but you know, like, not only because I say I want to fight him, I'm gonna fight him. I, I talk to the whole team, and they, they don't think, they still don't think it. Right now is the right time to fight him. I, I still, think, I am, but I know that in the future later on, I'm gonna face him. Are you, are you frustrated, Leo? I mean, I know you want to do. It. I mean, do you have, do you have to have meetings with them? Some, well, I want this fight. Can you give me this fight already? Yeah, uh, I, I'm frustrated, and I, I want that fight already. Like I want, but you know, they have a plan for me, mm -hmm. and. I'm still young. I have so many fights to come, and I like you know like the Mayweather and Pacquiao fight. They wanted it like a long time ago, and now it's happening. It could be the same thing with with Rigondos. Uh, maybe in the future it's gonna happen. Nomara, as I talked to him, he's very excited. He wants to fight you. Uh, you know how do you what do you what do you think about that fight? Is that the fight that's probably gonna make the fans kind of just stop and say, okay, finally we got Leo. Do you think that'll <laughs> maybe shut him up? Finally? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Mar is a great Mexican fighter. He's been champion three times. So I think that's a fight that's going to show that I'm not scared of nobody and I think hopefully everything goes good in this fight and I think my next fight is going to be against him. We're going to ask him, we're going to, I think almost like 90% or 100% that sure is going to be my next fight. You know, when, when he goes on a show like the Piolin show and he's talking a lot of shit basically yeah. to you, does that motivate you more to fight him or does that make you, because some people are like, you know what, if you're going to do that, then forget it, I don't want to fight you. Like it's not the right way to go about it. Yeah, no, he, he, uh, then that he got me a little more angry and it gives me want to fight him more because He's been talking a lot of things and saying that I'm scared that, and saying that in three weeks he'll be ready. Everybody that knows about boxing, they know that three weeks is not enough to get ready. I want him to come 100% ready to be well prepared and to give so that he won't have no skills. You left from finished business at 122. I know there were a lot of fights we wanted to see you and fights that you wanted. Do you kind of feel like there was yeah. part of you didn't finish something there? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I know. Uh, like the fight against Guillermo Rundos, Carl Frampton, uh, Scott Quick, you know, fight against them. Uh, but... This is the first fight on 126. Uh, we still don't know if we're gonna stay there. We see, we're gonna see how we feel. We could still go down to 122 and make those fight happen. So I think it's still possible. Or maybe I, it is four pound difference. I think those they, those fights they could move up in weight and we could still make the fight happen at 126. You so, feel stronger at 126? Yeah, I feel a lot stronger. Uh, I've been able to eat more and I just feel better at 126.